Hey guys, it's Illy here from the Back and Balance Group. And in today's episode, I wanna to talk to you about whether you should put on heat or whether you shouldn't put on ice on your acute injury on your muscles or your joints. This video is obviously for anyone that's got an injury, uh, had an acute injury, has swelling happening in any of their joints, such as their lower back, the neck, the shoulder, the elbow, um, whether you know the joint inflames, whether it be the ligament, whether it be the tendon, whether it be the bone, whether it be the muscle, just inflammation. And you want to know whether you should put on heat on it or whether you should put on ice. So the short answer to this question is this: um, If there's inflammation, put on ice. If there's no inflammation but you're feeling stiff, put on heat. The long answer um, goes like this. To understand the long answer, you have to understand the inflammatory process. The inflammatory response is a function of the immune system. There can be inflammation in different organs, in different parts of the body, but the inflammation I'm talking about is a very particular musculoskeletal injury um, that's in the joints or the muscles or the ligaments or the tendons of the body. When you sustain an injury to, let's say, your elbow, your lower back, your shoulders, your neck, um, your knee, and your joints inflames, uh, what your immune system is trying to get your body to do is open up the blood vessels and capillaries, get the blood circulation, get the oxygen and the nutrients uh, to get to the injured site where the inflammation is, repair that area so that the healing can start. Uh, so it's a very, very nice function of the immune system. When there's inflammation, the first thing you want to look at, of course you want to speed up the recovery, but the first thing you want to look at is pain. Now the situation with ice is this. If you have a lot of inflammation going on and you put on ice, then the inflammation will start to go down. Ice is very good for controlling the pain. There are some research studies that suggest that ice speeds up the healing process. Other studies conflict that and say that it doesn't make any difference. So whether it does speed up recovery or it doesn't is irrelevant in this episode because in this episode, the most important thing to realize is that ice does control pain. So if there's inflammation going on and you put ice on the inflammation, the inflammation will go down, the pain can be controlled, and it'll be, it'll be amazing for you. Now, you're saying, hold on, Ellie, you just said that inflammation is a function of the immune system and it's good, it helps to improve the injury. So why am I putting ice on it if it's gonna restrict that inflammation and restrict that blood flow? Well, because if you're in a lot of pain, you wanna get rid of the pain, that's the first priority. Uh, so you're gonna put on some ice. And until when it starts to get better, then you can stop using the ice and let the body do its thing. What happens if you put heat? If you put on heat when there's inflammation, you're gonna make it inflame even more and it will take way longer to heal than usual. An example is I remember I was doing a grappling training and I rolled my ankle and I had a big, big bruise. I thought to myself, hey, I wanna, I wanna put on heat. It was the first thing that I wanted to do. So I put on heat and it took me one and a half months to get better because it was already inflamed. It doesn't need more heat, it needed ice, if anything, just to control the pain at the beginning. So how do you know if there's something's inflamed? You touch a joint, it feels inflamed, it'll be bigger than it usually is, the skin may be a little bit red, the heat may be warm to the touch, uh, mobility may be restricted in that joint. If you're not sure, consult a health professional. If it's inflamed, don't put on heat. Uh, when it comes to heat, it goes like this. If you're feeling stiff, if your joints are feeling stiff, but there's no inflammation, then you're welcome to put on heat. Uh, you're welcome to put on heat. Now you have to watch if you have diabetes, high blood pressure, or a particular medical condition, you may need to consult your health professional or your doctor, uh, or just send me a message and I'll let you know if you can do it or not. If you're feeling stiff in a particular joint, you can put the heat pack there, you can apply heat and it'll be okay, as long as there's no inflammation, if it just feels stiff. If there is inflammation, don't put any heat on, put on ice, it may slow down the healing process, um, it may not slow down the healing process depending on what study you look at, but the bottom line is ice has the potential to lower your pain, uh, to control it, because when you have an injury, you just wanna control the pain, that's the first thing. Then you wanna figure out ways how to make it better. So how do you do it? Get the ice cube, rub it around, let's say the inflammation is in my elbow joint. Rub around the ice cubes around the elbow, around the muscles for about two to three minutes or until the skin becomes numb, whichever one comes first and then stop, don't apply any ice for another 10 minutes, and repeat that another two times. So you did it three times in total, two to three minutes of ice on the rubbing around the skin, always moving it, never to keep it in one spot. If you're gonna be applying heat, you can apply heat for longer. There are different suggestions for how long you can put heat on for. I like to put on heat on for about three to five minutes. If there's no inflammation, you can leave it on for even 10 or 15 minutes. Now you know what to do 
when you have an acute musculoskeletal injury in your muscles or your joints, ligaments or tendons, you know what to do when there's inflammation happening around there, whether you're gonna put on ice, whether you're gonna put on heat. You put on ice if there's inflammation to control the pain first, uh, or you put on heat if you wanna speed up the recovery, but when there's no inflammation.